Hi there, welcome to end-to-end -end solution architect session. I hope you are following our migration of Azure DevOps to GitHub Enterprise. So this is our part two. In our part one, I have showed that how you created the foundation and setup by downloading these GitHub CLIs from scratch, installing the importer extension, creating the personal access token, both in Azure DevOps and in GitHub Enterprise. Okay, and we have set the environment variables as well for this migration. Now our foundation is done in part one. So this is the part two where we will we'll be actually running the script uh, for the migration of Azure DevOps to our GitHub Enterprise. Okay, so I have my uh, GitHub Enterprise account logged in over here and also the Azure DevOps over here. Let me take you through a little bit about the Azure DevOps uh, projects I have. I have one organization, two projects. So if I go to one of the projects, it has repositories, pipeline, and uh, boards, work items. So let me take you one by one. So I have this one repositories under this project. Okay, uh, there are a few pipelines also. Let me go to the pipelines. These are the pipelines. So we have six pipelines under this project. Okay, uh, there are a few uh, um, uh, libraries as well. So in libraries, we have few group variables. So we will test that whether when we are migrating this, whether these are also being migrated or not. Okay, so we have group variables over here. And uh, let's go to the environment. Do we have any environment? I hope I have one, yes. So it is a dev environment, which is never deployed. That is fine, but we have this environment uh, de defined. And let's check the releases. Okay, we don't have any uh, release for the pipeline over here, but uh, in repositories, we have a branch, I think. It is the main branch and uh, we have a, uh, a release branch, which is release version 01, okay? And uh, we have the commits, multiple commits and the comments also. So we will check that whether it is also being migrated or not. Uh, and if it is being migrated, then in GitHub Enterprise, how it is showing, where it is showing like this, okay? So, and we have the tags also. So we have one tag for release 01. Now let me go to the board. So in board, we have few work items, few tasks created and few one issue over here. So if I go to this, these are the work items. So if I go to the board, okay. So in our board that we have uh, one issue and that is uh, in progress. Um, so we'll see that how it is being migrated or whether it is being migrated or not. Okay. So if I go to this uh, uh, project settings, let's go to the project settings, uh, going to the repositories. So we have one repository over here. Let's click on that. And uh, we're going to the security tab. Well, so this is the part where what we suggest that uh, when doing the migration, so no one else should be able to make any changes in this repository because otherwise if uh, a part of user team, they keep on changing the repository, then the migration will not make any sense. It will not sync uh, the code which is being migrated or which is at uh, the Azure DevOps site. So uh, search user groups over here. So this is the user groups who has access to it. So once you have this selected, okay, so there's bypass policies, all this, those are not set or something. If it is not set, then uh, let it be. Contribute, that is you deny it for temporary, even for temporarily this thing you deny it. So this is how, well, what we said that uh, we say it allow inherited it is showing. So contribute, create branch, create tag. Uh, manage nodes, all this which are allowed, we set it as deny. So it will protect the branch or that uh, Git repository from getting any new change by any users. Okay. So 
So I'm just going back at this moment uh, and it is a prerequisite kind of a thing to be uh, start before uh, starting our actual migration. Let me tell you one more thing is that uh, under project we have uh, around six pipelines. So I will also verify that uh, these pipelines are created for uh, the Azure DevOps, right? Now, when we are migrating to GitHub repositories, so uh, whether this pipeline code, the how it is coded in YML, whether it will be changed or it will be simply um, migrated as a file uh, to those um, GitHub repository. Okay, so if I click on this GCP image builder and uh, let's see the code, how it is clicking on uh, edit. Okay, so it is asking for the permission. So authorize as your permission. And you see, this is the pipeline code written in YML and uh, as per Azure DevOps. Okay, this is a simple pipeline for a GCP image builder. So we will also check that whether uh, it is being, the format is being changed compatible with the GitHub Actions pipeline, or it is simply just migrating this YML file to Git, GitHub repository. Okay, so we check that also. I'm just going back to uh, the ADO organization and we have another project. Uh, this is similar to this. So I am not going uh, uh, in detail for the second project, but uh, what our intention is that when we are migrating from Azure DevOps to GitHub Enterprise, we want both these projects with their contents, means the code, repository, uh, comments, code comments, uh, pipelines, all together to migrate into our new uh, GitHub Enterprise. Okay, so let's go to our uh, instruction over here. And for the preparation, we have completed this preparation in uh, our part one. Okay, let me tell you one more thing, which I was uh, uh, missing this part, that in um, our part one, we have created the personal access token. So we know that how we created our personal access token, right hand side, the top user settings, go to personal access token. Now, let me tell you that in part one, I have showed that the token I created with few particular access only, with three um, access, which is uh, basically the team access. Uh, let me show by creating a new token um, that what are the access I provided. So we added this organization accessible to all, all organization and you, you know that why we selected all organization over here from the part one. Now in scopes, so we have total 29 more scopes over here, around 30 plus scopes over here. You can give the full access depends on the migration that uh, what are particularly things you are trying to migrate. So in our part one, I showed that click uh, use the read for work items, code, build, release, and uh, then for the identity. But what I did uh, after that, I created another token and provided almost all um, scopes over here because I wanted that whatever in our Azure DevOps organization, it should migrate. We will test that how much it is migrating actually. Okay. So if, I, if you simply click on full access, you can do it, but I prefer that you understand that whatever you are giving the access, the scopes basically, and you uh, create the token. Okay, so I created the new token and I have just updated the environment variable. I'm not going into that. Now let's go back to our DevOps portal home over here and I'm taking you to the instruction. Now here, this is the time that we will start the uh, uh, migration uh, here. So check migration instruction here. You will find three separate migration steps uh, for the single repository migration, multiple repository migration, and multiple organization uh, migration. So here I am going to multiple organizations migration at the first place. Okay, so here what it shows the command basically that if we are trying to migrate the whole organization, means DevOps organization, basically you have one or multiple organization defined in your Azure DevOps uh, portal, 
then we can go by that. So in our case, we have only one uh, uh, organization, but we will consider that suppose we have multiple one. So what we'll do, as I said that if ADORG is not mentioned, then it will consider every organization the personal access token has access to. Okay, so in our case that I am copying this one, which is mentioning the GitHub organization. So let me explain this one. So GH is the GitHub CLI uh, command. Now GEI is the uh, extension of GitHub Enterprise Importer we have installed in part one. Now generate script. So generate script is basically it will create the sc a script first. Okay. So the script when it creates that script will basically point to the GitHub ORG. So which GitHub organization should be our target organization. So the artifacts where it will be migrated. That's the part. And the output will be created in a migrate underscore script dot sh. If you are using Linux, you are using dot sh. If you are using your Windows system, then use the dot ps1, that extension. In my case, I'm using Windows system, so I will be using dot ps1. You can give any name to this output file name, that doesn't matter, okay? So what I'm doing that uh, I'm copying this code snippet, and before I copy, let me tell you this part as well, that this is a similar command where it says that you are mentioning a particular organization to migrate. So in this case, you are generating the script for a particular organization. This GitHub ORG is your target organization and you are mentioning ADO-ORG, which is your ADO source organization name. Okay. And then creating this uh, script, which the generate script, the command will create the commands basically, or will populate the command basically in this output uh, .sh file. So I'm just copying this one and going back to our uh, for CLI, okay? And uh, let me copy this uh, organization basically. So in our case, in our enterprise account, GitHub enterprise account, I see that we have a uh, um, existing organization, but I'm not using that existing organization. What I'm doing that clicking on new organization. So creating a new organization. So it is the organization. Uh, I am giving a name, suppose it is ADO. Create an organization. So just uh, giving a name over here. So ADO migration. Okay, giving it in. So just adding an organization name over here. Suppose it is ADO migration. Click or create organization. Okay, and now it is saying that invite owners. So I'm just adding, uh, okay, this is already in organization. So I just adding one more, the solution architect, the solution architect. This is how you can invite owners. Okay, so you just click on invite. Okay, this one has been invited and I'm clicking on finish. So our target organization in the enterprise account is ADO migration. Okay. Now let's check to our GitHub uh, documentation where it is saying that the Azure DevOps to GitHub uses. So it is basically that we have to run this generate script command with gh ADO to gh. This is the command we have to run. So if you go to this, uh, our GitHub repository, and uh, let me copy this gh ado to gh generate script and this is our uh, ado organization name and github organization uh, name the target organization name basically and now i am opening the command prompt and let's click on enter okay now it is also saying that unknown command ado to gh okay so it means that ado to gh is the extension basically okay so we have to install the extension let me check that whether we have any uh, um, instruction for this particular extension so 
I'm just checking in the GitHub uh, documentation over here. So this is the extension for ADO. Okay, perfect. So this is the extension for ADO. Uh, let me clear it once more and let's install this extension. Perfect. And if I just verify it like this, git extension list, I see two extensions over here. And now if I just run this, let's see. What, okay, it's saying that again, it has encountered an error, unexpected error, please check the logs for the details. Okay, let's open the log. And it's saying that the error is basically here. Okay, it we essay instructed and uh, I think I have a uh, name issue over here. Uh, just uh, now it has actually generated uh, the file and uh, which is basically the migrate file. Let me show you this. And it has generated this migrate.ps1. So it means that once we um, execute this command directly, it by default creates the .ps1 file. And let me open this in uh, a com uh, notepad and see that what is. So it looks like this. And it has the necessary code uh, written over here. And uh, I'm just checking that, okay, so it is trying to migrate uh, these things. So organization, it we instructor, that's fine and creating teams. Okay, so it is migrating teams and I have the demo maintenance, demo admin. These are the teams it is trying to migrate. That's fine. Here is also the team and uh, the next, here is the repo migration it is saying. So it is supposed to do the repo migration and uh, let's execute this one and see that uh, how it works. Okay, so I'm closing this one and just right clicking over here since it is Windows. Okay, so uh, run with PowerShell and it started something. So ADO pat and PH pat environment successfully created the team. Okay, it also showed one error and it uh, closed it. So let's see that, uh, how is that? Let's go to this uh, organization showed the team created successfully earlier. So we should be getting something under team. Okay, I see one teams created. It we demo maintainers. 